Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghu here. In this class, we will discuss about connectives and compound statements. In our last class, we clearly discussed about what is meant by statement. Please watch the class and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class. So, let's take two statements. P is a statement. I went to school. It is a statement. Q is another statement. I played football. So, what is meant by statement we discussed previously, hoping that our assumption is you already know that what's meant by statement. Now, coming to simple English, if you take simple English, and is used as a connective. Yes, we can use and to connect these two statements. And this connective is having some particular meaning also. So, I went to school and I played football. When we are going to use this connective and, so when both the statements happened, then we are going to use the connective called and. Similarly, we are having another connective called or. When we are going to use the connective or in English, either any one of the statement happened, then we are going to use the connective called or. This, this is all about in our basic English language. Now, similarly, the in our proposition logic, we are having connectives. In this class, we are going to discuss three of the connectives. Coming classes, we discuss the remaining connectives. Conjunction, disjunction, negation. These are the three connectives which we are going to discuss today. Conjunction. The symbol given for this is, this is the symbol we are going to use for conjunction. This conjunction works similar to and. Similarly, in our propositional logic, we are having connectives and these connectives having a particular meaning. So, what's that meaning? Let's try to understand. This conjunction works similar to and. If both are, all the statements are true, then only conjunction is going to be true. If you take two statements, both the statements should be true. If you take n statements, all the statements should be true. Then only conjunction is going to be true. This is the symbol we are going to use for conjunction. Now let's check the uh, truth table for conjunction. Let's take two statements. P, Q. P conjunction Q is given as P conjunction Q. This is the symbol we use it for conjunction. So P, Q. True, true. Both the statements are true. Then only we can say it as P conjunction Q is true. Yes, true. True, false, false. Because what's our conjunction condition says? Both should be true. False, true, false. False, false, false. This is the truth table for conjunction. Similarly, disjunction works similar to or in English. Any one of the statement is true. Our disjunction is going to be true. So, now check the truth table for disjunction. Any one of the statement is true, disjunction is true. So, if you take two statements, P, Q, true, true. Any one of the statement is true. Here, both the statements is true. It's okay, accepted. Then, P disjunction Q is going to be true. True, false. Any one, so true. False, true, true. Both are false, false. Any one of the statement is true, our, our disjunction is going to be true. Now coming to the negation part, negation symbol is given as like this. Negation means not. Not means, suppose take a statement, I went to school. Negation means I did not went to school. So in our, in our proposition logic, P, negation P, if P is true, negation P is false. If P is false, negation P is true. So these are the true tables which we are going to use for connectives, conjunction, disjunction and negation. In our next class, we are going to do some practice examples how to construct the truth tables using, this, using these connectives. After that, we will we'll discuss some more uh, connectives, conditional and biconditional, which are very important to understand. So hope you understand what these uh, truth tables are. If you have any questions regarding the concept, please post your questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and 
प्रेस बेल आइकॉन फॉर द लेटेस्ट अपडेट्स थैंक यू